Hello, I'm Chris Hoffman, Director of Botanical Garden at the OKC Zoo and Botanical Garden. Today you're joining us for OKC Zoo at 2. We're going to be taking you on a little tour of some of our areas to look at some wonderful color. A lot of things recently have been canceled, but one thing that wasn't canceled was springtime. So we're in the island life area next to the flamingo flocks. And this plant right here is also called flocks. It has several different colors and it's a great early spring bloomer, especially when you can plant it on a hillside so that you can really enjoy the carpet of blooms it produces. So we're near the front of the zoo at the Water Conservation Garden. We like to use a lot of pollinator plants throughout the zoo. This location, we've got the autumn sage, which is ultraviolet, and then a blue bonnet's mass. They reseed themselves every year, and they're a great addition should you want to incorporate these water-saving plants in your landscape. So we're down at the Devon Picnic area, and we have a lot of red buds planted down here. They're a great springtime tree. They're also the steak tree. You'll notice them all along the roadsides as they naturalize very well. So we're down at the Butterfly Garden right now. This is an incredible, over 20,000 square foot of butterfly habitat that we've created. There are a host of plants that will provide food and pollen and nectar for the variety of the butterflies that we have. So we have a lot of pollinators and all of them are very important. One of the things that we do focus on is the monarch butterfly. And we are in the migratory path from Canada down to Mexico where it makes its annual trek. Our pollinators are in decline across the nation. It's very important that we all play a role in creating butterfly habitats. You can do this at your home and a good resource is okiesformonarchs.org. So we're ending our tour today with some of the best views of the zoo at Sanctuary Asia. This is the Japanese rose. It is um, a native of the Asia areas. It gets about three to nine feet tall, so after it blooms, you can cut it back so that it has a more bushy appearance to it. This is the Japanese red maple, and what a spectacular color it has in the springtime. One of the great things about it is that it has this weeping form, gets up about 12, 15 feet tall, and it is a spectacular addition to your landscape. So we're at Sanctuary Asia, and who doesn't like tulips in the springtime? They will return if planted in the right conditions, and this one is paired with Purple Heart, so the yellow and the purple is a great color contrast. Studies have shown for a while that getting out in nature is very, very good for our health and our well-being. So we encourage you to get up, walk outside, at least maybe in your own yard, get some sunlight and some fresh air, and get the blood pumping. So we're ending our tour on a high point, literally a high point, overlooking the elephant habitat. We want to thank you for joining us on this tour of the Oklahoma City Zoo and Botanical Gardens. We want you to know that we miss you, our animals miss you, and are looking forward to when you can visit as guests again. Remember to tune in to the next OKC Zoo at 2.